What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're at Sneaker Travelers Dallas. Let's do some cash outs, let's do some buyouts. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, guys, we're up here inside, and today we brought a early pair of the Jordan 1s. I just call these the wash pinks. I don't know what the official name of these are, but I call these the wash pinks. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. First impressions, this is actually uh, maybe my first or second time seeing these in the store. Obviously, we just brought them in, and now that I'm looking at them, you're here with good lighting. Uh, I would say these are actually pretty nice. I mean, they it did incorporate the yellowed sole on it, which is a good touch on these. Wash tags now, if you guys didn't know, Jordan 1s apparently are not doing all tags on here, which I don't know exactly why, but... You know that's just jordan brand right there and then another cool thing that i just found out was that these actually do come with extra laces i don't know why they're doing them on the on the boxes now i'm probably gonna guess that the reason why is to like stop the plastic and stuff like that it'd be more bio or uh, environmentally friendly i guess so i guess that's why they're doing them but overall i mean the quality is really nice on these if you look at this i thought this was actually like a suede but it seems to be more like a like a leather by the way it creases but or unless actually it is a suede it's just a really nice textured suede so like uh, good padding too. yeah it has good padding on them um good details overall but i mean like i said if these would have came out during 2020 or 2018 these would have definitely caught for a lot of money but i mean it's still a good shoe nonetheless another cool thing they did do the um yellowed uh tongue on here so that's a good touch so if you ladies are in looking for some jordan ones this is definitely a good one to cop for the summer there's a lot of things that Jordan Brand's actually changing up. Uh, you guys obviously won't be able to tell, but if you guys look at the inside, it's actually more of like a thin padded memory foam that's actually inside, which is actually pretty cool. Another thing, I, when I took out the insole, uh, normally you guys are used to seeing a lot of like the blue lines with the glue lines and stuff like that on the bottom, but these are actually padded. Funny enough, it has like a like a memory foam type of material on them. So look at look how my finger indents into it. So it's actually pretty cool how Jordan Brand's actually been. Yeah, it's like Jordan 4 insoles. It may be even better, actually, but, I mean, for you ladies who are complaining about comfortness on the ones, they're changing it up now. We're going to go down, see what the vendors think. Maybe they haven't seen these in person and get a little bit of opinions on these. And maybe we'll ask Kais what he thinks about these as well. So, again, I think if these would have came out during, like, 2015, 2016, even 2018 era, these definitely would have caught for a pretty penny. But, unfortunately, we're here now 2013 or 2023 and i don't think these are going to go for much but let me know what you guys down below think and we'll see what opinions we get on these let's go all right guys to start off the video we got some two unreleased heaters right here first one we have the spider-man jordan 1 2.0s and then right here we got the born and raised nike sb dunks let me know down in the comments below what you guys think hey bro how'd you get these if you don't if you want to see in the video no comment no, 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 no. okay no comment on down in the video all right guys so if you guys aren't familiar, uh, again, I'm not too um, educated on this one, but Born and Raised, obviously a streetwear brand, isn't it? Yeah. Streetwear brand did a collaboration with Nike. Uh, this is obviously coming out. I don't think there's a release date yet on these, uh, but these are coming out soon. Same thing with the Jordan Spider-Mans. Obviously, the new movie's coming out. Uh, I think there, there was just confer confirmation that uh, the actor, uh, fuck, I can't remember his name again, but he did re-sign again with Marvel to make the new movie, so obviously that is, will be coming out. Obviously, the multiverse is coming in, so they basically took uh, inspiration on the multiverse. That's why all that craziness is going on with the shoe. But what do I think about this one? These are ugly, in my opinion. I would never wear these, but I mean, it's just cool to see that they are, you know, obviously Marvel's doing that collaboration with, Jor with Jordan, so that's a good one. But apparently, homie here is giving me permission to wear these. Hey, but I can try these on? Where? Yeah, hey, only because I went to high school with him. That's it. That's the only reason. I, pre I, pre I appreciate that, but yeah, born and raised. All right, I mean, I guess I try them on feet. I mean, this is the first time. This is the first time a vendor is just just casually said, "Hey, man, just wear the shoe." I mean, who? I'm just gonna be mad at him. I don't even let Ivan try on the shoe. Oh, so that's the first. This is the first, guys. These are fire, bro. They're so thick, dude. I need them. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. These are, I mean, look at that. Born SB right there. These are fire. Don't care, bro. Uh, yeah, bro, these are really nice. Like, really nice. Look at look at this, guys. It's leather all throughout inside, even the tongue inside. Just casually, the threes. Everyone's got them, but it's still a classic. One block at a time. One block at a time. What do you think about these? They're clean. They're clean? What do you rate these? One out of ten. A nine. 
Realistically. A seven out of ten. I kind of like it. You would wear these on? Probably. Oh, wear on. Yeah, I rate this. Yeah, I rate this a five out of ten. I mean, the, the only reason why I even give it a, anywhere above a five is just because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan and a Marvel fan. So that's the only that, that's realistically why, design-wise, I don't like it. But just nostalgia, nost it's nostalgic. It's it's just something that I, I obviously I fuck with. All right, guys. So our homie Distant Cakes over there at the vendor table just casually let me borrow the shoe for the day the born and raised and i obviously gave him my jordan threes as collateral but i mean we're just gonna see maybe we'll get some reactions i don't know but yeah born and raised these are actually pretty fun let me know in the comments down below what you guys think what size is this bro 10 og all down to the receipt Jeez. how much are you asking on it 17 100 yeah okay <laughs> just asking bro. I, I, see, I see some i see some 17 000 yeah, yeah i don't yeah. know but yeah Woo. Something different, guys. Again, I like coming to events and seeing a lot of different stuff. Skunk SBs, you guys aren't familiar, obviously a 420 shoe. And you got the iconic skunk on the insole right there. How'd you get these, bro? Um, a store in Tokyo hit me okay. up. Yeah. They shipped them all the way? Okay, sweet. It took like two weeks to get here. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay, sweet. I like seeing stuff like that. Yeah. Anything else you got crazy? Um, or is that like your main one? That's your Pretty much my main right one. I mean, okay. not for resos, you don't see a whole lot. Yeah. Um, Dead Star Band ones, hard to find them sometimes. Can I, can I see the... Yeah. Ones? You want me to get the other one out? No, nah, that's cool, bro. Appreciate it. Not for resales. Obviously a great time during, uh, for the ones during this year, right? It was like during that like ones craze. That's one of them. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely one of those. When the yellows came out, everyone was going crazy over these. I remember there was like a lot of talks on these, but uh, this is actually a really nice one. I like these a lot. Obviously on the other side it says no photos. For all you resellers, which is actually just Jordan Brand throwing a mock for all the resellers, so it's a cool one. You don't like this one? The Eric Costa? Yeah. Like Your that. size. Now, now that we're talking a lot about SBs, obviously a lot of SB stuff has been going on lately. We got the Born and Raised SBs. We got the obviously the Jordan SB fours that just came out. That was what yesterday, bro. They came out yesterday, right? Yeah. And sneakers they haven't yet. Oh, they came out on the seventeenth. Yeah. So a lot of SB talk. Obviously, SB Jordan ones. What? Got, got this. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's go. What's it say? That was the price tag. Like back in the day or what? $24.99. I did not know that. Something it's something so new. One of learned. the first SB Jordan 1 lows. It's pretty dope. These are dope. Let me get an opinion on you. We got an unreleased pair of the wash things. What do you think about these? So, same materials as Turbo Greens, pretty much. So, I think it's a cop, in hey, my opinion. Have you seen on the inside, they've actually been doing it like the quality's been way better? Take off the insole. Whoa. Feel the padding on it. And feel the padding on the inside of the actual sole, like the inside. It feels like memory. Pump. No way. Yeah. Look, compared to That's here, guys, so it's like it's just rock hard. That. And, like, it's almost like an SB insole. Like almost. I mean, yeah, well, no, yeah, I get, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but, yeah. Holy crap. That's crazy. Think? I, I would. I would that's you would, you would rock these. That's a cop. What do you rate these? It one would, out of ten. Like a nine. Uh, let's just say from, from a girl's perspective and from a guy's perspective. From a girl's perspective. Oh, which one? Right what do you rate those? Eight out of ten. I rate them probably like eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. Okay, sweet. Thank you, bro. Of course. What size is this, bro? Uh, that's the size eight. Eight? Yeah. What are you asking on it? Uh, four thirty. What beer best, bro? The best on those. I wouldn't go under four. Under four? Yeah, I'd be like right at. I mean, I'd probably be right at like three eighty, bro. Okay. If yeah. I were to offer yeah. you. No. Nah. Yeah, four okay. would be the lowest. Yeah. Appreciate it. Something way different than what I'm used to. It gives me nostalgic vibes holding this. Uh, did we ever post that? Picture of me with the thing. Okay, hey, yo, well, y'all already the know the story from that secret phone one, but yeah, funny enough, it was actually. Oh, I didn't. I never said it. That shoe was actually a size 10, bro. The Air Max that I was wearing on that picture. It wasn't even my size. But funny enough, oh, that's a nine. I thought it was an eight, but I mean, close. What are you asking on it again? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. And then another one, Art Basil. Carson. The Art Basil Jordan ones. This is actually Carson size, but is this something he'd wear? What are you asking on this one, bro? One thousand. One thousand. 4,000. I was like, 1,000 is a steal. But 4,000. Send it to Carson, see if he wants a pair. Do you like these? Yeah. You'd rock? Yeah. Okay. 100%.
basically the one that brought Nike back. The Virgil Ablo off white Jordan ones, the Chicago's. This is an iconic pair. What are you asking on this one? Five grand. Okay. It's not bad. What size is that? It's a nine. Sweet. Well, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. You these in person here? I have. Yeah, oh, you yeah, have. Yeah. Never mind. Then. What do you think about these? I, I I wish they were a men's release, but like I wouldn't really wear them. But I think I think they'd sell for more if they were a men's release. Okay. So. Did you did you see like the new padding and stuff that they're doing on the inside? I don't know if you like uh, looked no. into the insole. So I haven't looked. Take off the insole for me, please. Oh. So you know how like we're used to like those just the blue and yeah, stuff. Like yeah, yeah. And then if you look at the inside, like the actual uh, touch it, the actual sole, it's actually like memory foam padded. Like, oh yeah. Inside. Wow. I don't know if you knew that now. I did not know that. What do you think? I fuck with them. Yeah, yeah. Will you work with me? Nice offer so far. A, they wanted to take all of us. Two seventy. Two seventy for all of them. You yeah. said no. No, I said I, I I'll think know. about it. Uh, do you have a Do you have a list of which ones you have more of and shit? If he has more of tens and like big sizes, which it seems like he does, look 11, 11, uh, look 11, 11, 12, 9. It seems like he has more bigger sizes, so I I, I would probably more be comfortable with like 270 each. Two size ones each, 270 a pop. I don't care the breakdown. White cement threes, obviously white cement threes, a classic colorway. We were able to get two size runs each for 270 a pop, so. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. All right, so the total comes out to the total was 43.20. So 16 pairs at 270 a pop. So let's run it. Make sure, obviously, every pair we don't have to go through like factory floss and stuff. So you guys didn't know, obviously, the Jordan threes are going through a little thing going on with the elephant print. They were being inconsistent with it. So a lot of them, some pairs will have a thin ele elephant print. The other ones will have like a darker one. So we're just making sure that they're all consistent with each other. So this is exactly what we mean guys if you look up here the element prints like really really thin i know obviously there's they say that this is the original colorway or the way that they were officially you know made but just think consistency with it around me we have a not really pairs you see much but the jedi sbs this is a really what are you asking on this one bro? 900 900 size 12 og box everything no that's the way it's no box. okay no box okay sweet well how'd you get these bro are you just been always been I having have, them or what they come out okay sweet well like i said I, I i tell them all the time bro i like seeing stuff that like you don't really see much yeah. like you see pandas and all that stuff all the time so it's always good to just see a lot of different pairs right. especially when stuff like this so the quality yeah. on them bro like you feel the leathers yeah the suede's really yeah. good on it i mean look at the details on it that OG Zoom Air insole, yeah. gum sole, it. yeah, you can't beat it for sure. On feet, they're stupid. Yeah, no, for sure. All right, sweet. Well, we got the first deal of the day done. White cement threes. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you guys. I know, obviously, everyone's probably telling you that they are gonna go up, but they are indeed gonna go up. I mean, this just, it's just inevitable with that shoe. It's clean. It's an OG colorway, and I mean, they're, they're cheap right now, relatively. But I definitely suggest. Uh, buying up pairs of those. I mean, y'all y'all saw what the Black Cement 3s did. Black Cement 3s brand new are like, what, $500 right now? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I personally think the White Cement 3 is cleaner than the Black Cement 3. They just stand out a lot more. And it's more iconic with that infamous, or not even infamous, but that famous Jordan shot with him dunking. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, it's going to go up. Oh, You've yeah. Seen these I've seen those. Yeah, assuming, I've seen right? those person, Okay, yeah. so what do you think about these? Uh, They're actually pretty hard. Is it, a, is it a cop or a drop or what? Well, I don't really like dunks. My people oh, know that. Oh, he did, he did say that in the video. Yeah. But those are pretty hard. That, that's like one that I'll, I'll buy and then like a week later I'll get rid of because they never end up fitting my foot right. But those are pretty hard. I like those a lot. Okay. And the, you, le the leather looks good too. No, it's a, uh, I don't know, if you've seen them obviously before, right? The leather all inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a good quality. What do you rate it out of 10 though? Those are solid like 7.5. It would have been higher if I liked dunks, but what I got on feet though, you know, I picked these up yesterday. Where'd you get them? <laughs> I'm saying, the man right here. But right let me here. say, hey, I busted my ass for them, but. Yeah, we did see that. See so that? if you guys haven't seen that video, uh, make sure you guys, oh, we'll put a pop tag on here, yeah. but yeah, he'll put it on there. I mean. I don't like SB Dunks, but I like SB Jordans. Yeah, run the 450. 
my you wrist, okay? My wrist kind of hurts. Y'all got insurance? <laughs> we do have insurance, but I don't know if this man's gonna put a claim on us or not. Prepare, hey, baby. you seen these? Let's see what it is. Oh, I haven't. No, you haven't, haven't seen these yet in person? No, I haven't seen these in person. Okay. Good. Ooh. What do you think about them? They're fire. This is definitely a pair I think my girl's gonna want to pick up. Like the age midsole, it's kind of, they kind of overdo the age midsole, but I think it works on this pair. But they could have done white too. I think it would have still looked cool. But you know, the female's gonna go crazy for them. What do you uh, What do you rate this one out of ten? Probably like a six. A six? Yeah, just because I'm like, I'm not over Jordan ones, but they just do so many that sometimes it doesn't really like shock me anymore. Yeah. You know. I mean, this if this were to drop what 2018 when like the ones oh, were like really crazy. hot. This yeah. is like a four or five hundred dollar shoe. I can see this being a shoe that goes up in price. Like, yeah, for sure. All it takes is like one TikToker to wear them. You know. It might Have go you crazy. seen the insole? Take out the insole for me, please. Don't tell me it's fake. No. Oh, I thought you were pranking. <laughs> Take out the insole. This. Do you see anything different? The, the dream self. Huh? Tra the trash dream dream cell crown. You don't like it. I you don't like it? No, I hate it. You don't these. like that it's like more cushiony? No, it's not. This it's cushioned right now, but wear them a little bit. Okay. And this is gonna be look how this is made out of recycled it's stuff. It's like some it's like some thin memory foam. Nah, wear okay, them in. What about the inside? Like if you touch that? Oh that, that's new. Yeah, touch that too. Yeah, the inside has like cotton on it. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like padded on top. Yeah. Like normally it'll just be straight up flat. Yeah. Damn, yeah, that feels good. I don't like these insoles though. These insoles are I've you, complained about it. Do you still it. change your insoles on your shoes or no? Sometimes. Okay. It depends on the Those shoe. Those boost ones before? They're like uh, Dr. Scholl's. Oh, okay. I never had the boost <laughs> ones though. I thought you, oh, you had like those like wannabe boost ones. No, no, no. It's a Dr. Scholl's one. Okay. It, it's kind of like boost, but it's not. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah. those ones. Okay. Let me grab a photo of these. Well, there you though. go, man. The man Kai has seen these for the first time. The, I mean, I call these the turbo pinks, but these are the wash pinks, but he gives it, what do you give it? Seven out of 10? 7.5 oh, out of 10? 6.5. Okay. We'll do 6.5. Is, is this a cop for Mina for sure or no? I think so. Okay. I think I showed her images and uh, she said they she rocks with them, so why not? Hello? <laughs> Sweet. Well, there you go. We all know Kais doesn't like Jordan 1s as much anymore. <laughs> no, no, I still love Jordan 1s. Don't, don't get me wrong, they just make a lot. Retail, retail, 100, 200. All right, call it in the air, man. All right, I got you, man. All right, so 100, 200. I got tails. I lost, man. <laughs> he finally won. Finally! My first. It's because it hit his foot, bro. <laughs> Uh, excuse it, excuse it. So you guys seen him obviously in the video before guys. I've obviously been on a winning streak with him. Obviously that just ended right now. So I had to unfortunately pay $200 for a pair of fucking uh, dunks. The South Beaches, unfortunately. All right, have you seen these in person? No. Is your first time seeing these in person? Yeah. Okay. First thoughts, what do you think about these? They're cute for girls, first thought. What do you rate these? I will rate them at One a nine. If I was a girl, or like if I was gonna buy them for my girl. Both ways. Oh yeah, for sure. Like nine, nine, nine point five. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're nice. They're nice, even, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. They remind me of the hyper royals in blue, but they're in pink. So. Yeah. For sure. Exactly. Hundred percent. That's a good. That's a good one. I, I said turbo green. Oh. Oh, of course, same thing. But of course, like a, a lot of people, I think will know more of the hyper royals and the turbo. So hyper pinks, basically. It's a good oh, name for these. The way you just did. Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. So cop or drop? For sure. Cop. Would you do three on the thirteen? Meet me in the middle. Do like three twenty-five. Three twenty. Three twenty. Three twenty-five is the best I can do. Three twenty-five. Yeah. That's fine. Alright, bet. Did you get it? Yeah. Did I get a pick? Yes. The homie up here, uh, Sneaker Safe House, gave us a pair of Military Blacks Deadstock size 13 for 320. I know it's on a little bit on the higher end of things, but as you guys know, Military Blacks are almost like, almost impossible to find, especially now for even like under market nowadays. So it's, to, it's just kind of one of those things you just kind of need and you're kind of having to budge and pay a little bit higher than normally. So, I mean, so we got that. So our basil, these came out in what, 2018, 2017, oh somewhere around yeah, yeah. there? What are you asking on it? This one I'm asking for. Okay. 400? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> size, all this, size 12s? Man. No, 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 this one's a 10, this one's 11, this one's 12? 12? Yeah. Do you have these? Mm -hmm. Do you like these? Those are dope, man. What are you asking on this? 14. 14. Do you have these? I don't. 
What are you asking on this? 14. I know those are high and big ass sizes, right? I know, but they dropped. Oh, really? yeah, they, they went did. down, yeah, surprisingly. Uh, I was like, like what the? Eight, eight and a half no, like, like yes, it's at like 16 now. But they used to be at 2K. Yeah. Which is for, crazy. For the 12? Yeah, no, for 11. This is 11. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is wild. Size 8 roll. They, I, I, I probably wouldn't be able to fit these anyways. I'd probably be like an 8 and a half, 9 in, in these. But, what the dunks? Um, this is newly released. The Dornbecker Jordan 1 Lowe's. Uh, I know, obviously, ones are kind of like not the thing right now but these are definitely a crazy exception to that obviously Dornbecker, y'all already know what the meaning behind is with the hospital and everything but let's look at the details on this it's funny enough i haven't seen anyone with these and this is my first time actually seeing these these dropped like a, what a couple months back something feel the material on that it has like that like feel the material it has like a like a texture like a like a turf material on it but these are sick Suede? I thought this was leather. Turf material? Bro, these are these the are insane. Is fuller than the book this year. Oh, my well, homie's showing us the story on it. So you guys want to read that? Make sure to pause the video on that. Right. Yeah, but nonetheless, what do you rate these, uh, Fredo? It's a seven. It's just more like a cool looking shoe, more than like more than the, the appeal and the yeah, I just like seeing it. Yeah, I wouldn't wear it. The turf yeah. And it's suede. I thought it was leather when I saw it from far. This is suede too. What do you rate these, Ro? Um, They're fun, man. I think like an 8 out of 10. They're just a fun shoe. It is a... That's a, that's a good word to put it. It's a fun shoe. Yeah. So, uh, 8 out of 10 for me, for sure. Eight, it's a fun shoe. Have you, have you seen these before? Not in person. Okay. I've seen Tom Hype put them out. What do you think about them? They fire you. You like them? Yeah. What do you rate those one out of ten? One out of ten. At eight? At eight? Yeah, women's gonna love these. You like uh the women's gonna love these. For sure, for sure. I ain't, this ain't a man's shoe, that's a woman's shoe, yeah, right? Woman's yeah. Shoe. For sure. But I mean you never know. I mean they made they made them in technically like twelve? Twelve women, yeah, I think they yeah. did. Yeah, you probably get some guys who would like it, but women for sure gonna like these. hundred percent, yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, appreciate it, bro. Alright guys, Kai's pulled up. Obviously paid up for the fours. Yep, As you yep. guys saw, he busted his ass. Are you yeah. okay with it? I am good. I've decided not to uh, take any legal action. Okay. You, you have insurance, so we're good. Okay. We're Thankfully, <laughs> so if the insurances are watching, make sure you guys have that on camera that he will not file a claim. So that's basically You gotta watch out though. One of your employees said he busted his ass too. So you okay. watch out for him. <laughs> okay, we'll watch out. But yeah, that's his verbal agreement right here. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, see, we'll save this right here. <laughs> All right, brother. Appreciate Thank you, brother. You, brother. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the born and raised. Homie, let me borrow them. Now, April, can I get my shoes back now? Can I get my shoes back? All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. As you guys saw, we did a little bit of cash out. We've got a couple pairs that we just needed in the shop, nothing crazy. But other than that, the main objective of this video was to basically get some opinions on the unreleased sneakers we brought, hang out with Kai Soamar, and basically just look at what heat or stuff we could find out here in the shop. Uh, other than that, uh, let's wrap it up. And until next time, guys, we out. Peace. Man, I love Hasbulla, man. <laughs>